Hi everybody, welcome to All Games New and Old. I'm David Rodriguez, and today I'm going to be unboxing Black Rose Wars Rebirth. This is a Kickstarter that just arrived yesterday, and what we have here is the core box, all the stretch goals, as well as the Kickstarter exclusive um, Jukas box, I believe. So I don't think this is the well, I think this was the the biggest like single chunk of things that you could back on Kickstarter at the time, but there were add-ons that I did not get, I don't believe. So, uh, so that's what we have here. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's the basic stuff, but some of the stuff anyway. So let's get into this. I think what I'm going to do, let me move this to the side. I'm going to start with the little box here. The Jukas one. We're just going to take a look at what's in here. So I believe this is one of the characters that you can play. Let me zoom in here so we can see a little bit better because it is quite far away. Okay, this box is so, uh, both these boxes are so deep that I have to have the camera way up above everything else. So it's going to be a little bit awkward here, but we'll, we'll get it worked out. All right, so let's open this up and see. Now this is a sequel to the original Black Rose Wars, which came out, gosh, I want to say maybe around five years ago. I'm not sure. So here's a bunch of tokens that come with this character. Here is special rules. So you know, not, not a ton of stuff. It's just like a, another character has a setup. Here we have, oh, it's nice and sleeve. We have like a character card for him. We have a kind of small deck of cards here. I'll take a quick peek through here. I don't think there's a lot of art on here. It looks like it's... Mostly just text and whatnot, so uh, I'll look at the back just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, that's kind of cool, but... Okay, yeah, so this is all just specific to him for the most part. All right, um, there's a silica gel pack. How exciting. Okay, then we have the model himself. Now, this guy's cool because he has, like, the clear plastic parts. Like, his, his hand here is clear, and he's got, like, crystals and, and stuff at the bottom. Uh, probably to signify some kind of magic is happening, but very cool looking model. So that is the Kickstarter exclusive that, at least to my knowledge, is not going to be available anywhere else. Although, you never know. They may change their mind on that. It could happen. Okay, let's move on to the big main box here. Um, it's pretty hard to see because of the glare, but there is like a cool... There we go. I can kind of see. See? That looks kind of neat. Um, let's flip this over. I don't think there's a lot on the back. Let's see. Yeah, it has all your contents and everything sort of laid out. It says, are you ready to fight to become the new Grand Magister? And it says, deck building, tactical games, stunning miniatures. So, all that sounds fantastic. Oh, here's some, here's some stuff down here. I didn't see that before. Black Rose Wars Rebirth is a game set in Renaissance Italy in the 1530s. Each player portrays a mage, master of a school of magic, compliant with the Order of the Black Rose who aspires to become the new Grand Magister. Players have six schools of magic at their disposal, each with its own peculiarities, to succeed in defeating their opponents. Black Rose Wars Rebirth is a one-to-four-player game that features elements of planning, hand and resource management, and employs the movement of models on a modular map formed by hexagonal rooms. The art and beautiful miniatures in this game will help you immerse yourself in its wonderful world. Fantastic. So, it says ages 14 and up, 90 plus minutes, one to four players. Let's cut into this thing and see what we've got in here. I'm very excited to check this out. It looked really stunning on Kickstarter. And I've got a pretty good feeling that it will, it'll be pretty stunning in person. I like this cool box too. All right, oh, lid comes off nice and easy. We need more of that in the world. Okay. So we have here our rule book. It is, so here's some just layouts. I'm not going to count that as part of the pages. It talks about the uh, artificial intelligence of the avatar, which might be for solo, I'm not sure, but it's about, it's right around 40 pages of rules. Um, some of them are just full color pictures though, apparently, so that's cool. Lots of great art in here. Hopefully not too hard to get a handle on. Um, I know a lot of people play the original, like, really, really, really like it. I don't know if it gets talked about that much, but I think it's one of those games that may just have a really um, big cult following. So here's some of the various models you have. It's like some of the characters as well as some of the, the monsters you have to deal with. 
Okay, awesome. Let's put that to the side. Okay, we have a little board. Looks like to track something. There might be cards that go here, but these are dual layer, so there's probably little cubes or something that go in there. It's another board. Again, probably more cards here. More things to track up here. All right. So a lot of these I'm not going to really know till I get into playing the game, but it'll give us some ideas. Um, a lot of cool looking tokens. Here's some stuff that look like for various locations. And we're two models already. So is there more? Let me see if there's more stuff that isn't. Oh, good. They've got stuff to put all of your tokens and whatnot into, which is great. Maybe. <laughs> sometimes those are good and sometimes they don't end up being that good. We're going to hope for the best. Um, what's under here? I think these are more. Is this more models? Oh, no. There's a whole horde of cards. So let's look at some of that first. I don't think I'm going to look at all the cards because there are so many. And I don't want to spend all day doing that. Um, here's another cool board. I like that they're dual layer. That's always so nice. I, th I have a feeling these are player, Oop, excuse me. I have a feeling these are player boards because they're pretty much the same, just in different colors. I like that purpley pink one. That's kind of neat. So there you go. All right, let's see. We have a little pack of cards here. There's reference card things on the back, but let me see if I can get this all out and we can see what else is in here. Okay. Gramigna, Ariana, Baron Doria, Rickart, and then your reference. So I think those are the characters that you play as. Oh boy. This big old stack. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. This big stack looks like all the rooms that make up the board. And if I remember right, I think they're double-sided. I'm not sure. Yeah, they kind of are. They got that on the back. So, yeah. Are they all the same on the back? No, they're different. So, oh boy. There's a lot. <laughs> but the art on this is really great. Like, how awesome and sort of dark and gloomy. <laughs> I love that kind of thing. So I'll just flip through all these. Um, it does say what room they are, but I don't think that's super relevant right now. Just to give you an idea what what it looks like. If you've played the first Black Rose Wars and have opinions or think that maybe I should know about it, let me know. Uh, I don't know if there's many different rules to this one. I, I think, I'm not sure, I think they might be interchangeable. I am not certain about that though so don't hold me to it but i imagine there's at least at least enough similarity that uh knowledge of one probably helps with the other okay just awesome artwork on all those tiles love it okay oh boy so we have some black cubes we've got a little bag that has a a black a white and a gold cube um, all kinds of little plastic things that you put on the basis of your models to keep the track of, I guess, who controls what. We have more bags of cubes. These are mostly clear, except for the white ones that are just white. But variety of colors there. All kinds of cards. I don't know if I'm going to get into these cards. Let me see if I see one that looks like it's showing me a lot of artwork. I don't know if any of them will. I think they're all just going to be... I mean, there's some creatures on there, but... I think we might do better just looking at, at the models. Okay. And there's some of the stuff for the monsters too, but okay. So let me put the side. I'll look at these big models in here first. They look like they're all the same other than just, you know, different copies of the same one. So the big guys in there. Let's zoom back. Oop, let's zoom back in. Are these guys right here? They're sort of, sort of Minotaur-ish, I guess. Very cool looking. All right, now I'm gonna open the the tray of models I have next to me. We have about nine of these guys. I like these little goat cultist-looking guys, which is really cool. Looks kind of like something out of Warhammer. They're, I mean, if they weren't goats, they're they're almost scavenly, but they're not quite. They might be people with a mask on. I think actually. Um, we have. These little strange impy guys. These might be like summons that you can have work for you. I'm not entirely certain. 
We got these kind of totem guys. That's kind of interesting. There's these big knights. Look pretty imposing. The succubus models. Pretty cool looking. And then we have characters you can play as. So there's that guy. They're really nicely detailed, I think. Which is always good to see. This guy looks neat. Just kind of just kind of bent forward. I may have to like put her under some hot water. And hold her back a little bit so she's more <laughs> so it look like she's, you know, heavily leaning into everything. This looks like that one character that's on the top of that card pack. Kind of like old lady looking. And then there's this guy. Alright. Very cool. So without taking out all the cards, that is everything in the core box. Alright, it's stretch goal time. There's basically three boxes within this thing, and as you can tell, it spells out Rebirth, which is kind of cool. So we're just going to take them one at a time. Let me skip this over to the side, and we'll look at each box in turn. Alright, here we have the Madness box. The legendary alchemical knight Rubedo rages in the lodge with the sole purpose of looting it and finding the components necessary to complete the Philosopher's Stone formula. Will the mages be able to stop him, or will they be overwhelmed by his fury? Great question. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, he has his own little tokens here. I think that's going to be kind of true of a lot of the characters. Um, here is his little rule book. So all the components, of course. And then it has, oh, it has a scenario on there, too. That's cool. All right. And we have... It's funny they wrapped up this one card. That's Landolfo the second, or Landolfo two. This time it's personal. All right, great. I like a chaos card here. Hmm, not sure what it does, but it's interesting. Oh, he has a location in there. That's kind of cool. Double, ooh, look at that crazy stairway. That's nuts. All right. And... So again, we're probably not going to look at all these cards. Um, they just don't look like they're going to be that interesting to see. Let me scoot the sort of side. I'll zoom it in even more if I can. And let's look at some of these cool models on here. These are really big, by the way. I don't know if I said, but look at that big fat guy. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm fat too, so I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't, I'm not insulting him. It just is what it is. Okay. This looks like kind of like a, like a bigger version of one of those like goat mask cultist things from the previous box. I, I don't know that that's at all what it is, but that's what it looks like. Got another very cool knight. Kind of reminds me of um, a space marine just because he's got like the rude halo thing behind him and like the cape, like from 40k. Uh, but he's definitely not that. This guy, another knight, but in a more action pose. He's really cool looking. There's some fantastic models but i think i saved the best one in this box for last just because i absolutely adore it when they use this plastic for magic effects doesn't that look cool like almost if you, you know if you don't paint that that's pretty amazing the only the problem is if you paint that you have to primer around this so you would have to paint that on like you couldn't you couldn't have to, you couldn't really spray paint it and you have to be really careful well i guess you could put something to cover that up but that's a pain in the butt and i don't usually do it so yeah. All right. So that is the Madness box. All right. Now we'll move on to the Silk Road box. And it says, A frenzied music announces the arrival of Devi in the lodge, and she demands that the mages bow before her, worshipping her and offering her their lives as gifts. Who will be brave enough to face her without surrendering to her dreadful power? I don't know. Sounds scary. I actually did not know this was arriving until it showed up at my door. I, I knew it was not super far off, but I didn't think it was this close. I was actually expecting um, another game from the same company called Nova Etas Renaissance that I knew was coming at some point, but that has not arrived yet. So that, that's coming via a different method, I think. But all kinds of surprises when you bet Kickstarters. <laughs> okay, so here is our... 
Silk Road rules. Looks very, um, like, Asian-themed, I would say. Alright, so here are her tokens. You got the, like, yin-yang thing. I'm not gonna take this out because it's probably, like, the other one is just, like, a card. Alicia, so she's a cool-looking character, I gotta say. Here is, uh, her special location, Zen Garden. There's the other side of Zen Garden. I think those, the saws just flip over as you go, uh, you know, based on events that happen. So, you know, some art on there, but kind of the same that we've seen, so I won't bother with that. All right, let me move this over. We'll look at some of these models. So there are several of these little crowned skulls in there. There's about six of those, I think. Got her. She looks really cool. Like that. And then this guy, who I think was on the box cover. He looks pretty savage. He's kind of like a big, like, I don't know. Almost like he ripped a pillar off the wall or something. And then we got some playable characters here. I do not know their names, but really amazing. These are bigger, by the way, I don't think I said, than your typical D&D model, I believe, though not, not by a ton. Like, I think it's fairly close. At the point where I'm not 100% certain that they actually are bigger, but I think they are. I'm just not sure what their exact um, size would be. And then finally we got this guy. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so that is everything in the Silk Road expansion. Okay, now we're moving on to Once Upon a Time. Let's check this out. Hester has come, and with him, madness has poured into the lodge. Will the mages fight to keep their sanity, or will they succumb to the Yellow King's embrace and become his devoted servants? So we're getting into some Cthulhu stuff here, which is cool. King in yellow and all that. And Hester, which I think is the same thing. I like this guy on the cover. He's kind of amusing looking. All right. Mm, let's see here. Oop. Okay, we have tokens for this one. It's kind of neat. Here, I am going to open this. I think this might have more than one character. Probably did the last one too, but, um, you know, we're past it. We got to move on. All right. So, I wonder if we're supposed to say that Malice, or is it May Malice? Bella? Vin Venticello? <laughs> Hogwarts? Wow. They're, uh, mm, that's a mm, tough one. I don't know. Oh, well. Who cares if they steal from that person? Anyway, um, here we go. They have the Skull's Throne Room. That's funny, because it's very cartoony compared to like some of the other stuff that's in here. Let's get this off, and I'll show you the models. Okay, I'm going to show you these three together because they're similar in a way. You've got like a, a full face, like a, a half face, and then a rose. So those are kind of interesting. All right, this guy's cool. He was like like the king of the fireballs or something. <laughs> it's kind of neat. I like him. I like that this one has a little humor to it. <clears throat> Not that it needs to have humor. I like Dark Fantasy as well, but... This gal on the stag looks really cool. She's got that big, crazy sickle or scythe going on. Ooh, that's neat. And then I'm guessing this might be Hester himself. Oh, very cool. Okay, let's get to some of the uh, cool uh, player characters. I believe that's what they are. We have here Hogwarts the pig. He looks like he has that sorting hat on all this, which is hmm, fascinating. This one, she's got like a butterfly, I think, on her hand, which is neat. That'll be fun to paint. Let's get a little splash of color that maybe isn't elsewhere in the thing. Here's that um, Malice or Malice, however you're supposed to say her name. She looks... She looks awesome, actually. I like that character. And here's that weird, kind of goofy-looking guy who also has butterflies about him. But that's really neat. I actually really like the models in that little set. That's That's very cool. All right, here we have the Antiquities set. Let's see what it says on the back. Okay, I'm not sure I'm reading this first word right, but the parquet are now in the service of the Black Rose, weaving the web of destiny according to her plans. Can you stop them before the pattern is completed? Meanwhile, the giant, Cacus, a frightening and legendary being, is wreaking havoc within the lodge. Surviving his wrath will not be easy. Only the most skilled will succeed. 
awesome. Let's take a look. All right, let's see. So like all these, they have their own tokens here. Uh, this looks like it is just one card. So Cassandra, so Oracle card here. Here is uh, their location. So we have uh, Ludus Arena. And there's the other side of it. And we'll get into the models. Should we start with the big guy? Let's start with the big guy. Look at that giant. Oh my god. He is huge, man. That is... That is very, very cool. I like him a lot. God, he's massive. How terrifying is that? Kind of coming at you. I wouldn't like it very much, I gotta say. We have this little guy. Looks kind of like a satyr, maybe. I'm not sure. but Interesting. And there's actually two of that guy. Look at this neat one. It's got three people on there, which is super cool looking and not easy to paint, probably. I don't know... Oh, it may not be that hard to get to everything. It's a little tricky, but, you know, not not absurd, I don't think. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Oh, I found another satyr in there, so there's three of those. My mistake. We have this, which I believe is a griffin. Fantastic. Really fantastic models, and I love the creatures in here. And then here's your playable character from that. She looks really cool, too. God dang. I love the design. Uh, in this game of the characters. It's, it's really amazing. Okay, now we are going to the North Winds box. This says, The Black Rose has called upon one of her best heralds, Odin, who is to select the next champion from among the mages of the Lodge. Vitnir is the one who will end Odin's life. Will the mages be able to tame it to gain the favor of the Norse god? Good question. Let's get in here and see. Okay. Here's the tokens for this one. Here's your card for the character Cormac. Um, oops. Got the rules down here for the set. Just like all the others, explains everything that's in here. And any special stuff about what you have. Okay. Uh, Dreadic card. Abyss of Hell. And then let's look at the models. Boy, they really push it with their copyright. Anyway, here, uh, it looks like it looks like the the Loki alligator crocodile from the Loki TV series. There's about three of those, um, so that's neat. There are three of these big bears. Got a wolf who looks like he's seen better days. Lots of swords sticking out of him. It's a cool mounted knight. And then here's your old wise looking wizard character you can play. Okay, finally, we have the Last Dynasty box. So on the back, it says, Anubis, the Egyptian god of death, has unleashed the mummies of the pharaohs from their millennial slumber and invaded the lodge to judge the hearts of the mages. Those who fail his tests will lose their souls and be condemned to eternal oblivion. All right. I like that it's got the cool Egyptian theme. That's pretty neat. I'm betting that's one that my wife will be interested in playing. She likes the Egyptian stuff. Okay, here is the little book for that. Much the same as all the others. I like that it has the scenarios in each one, though. That's very cool. Here is, I believe, player character Asaba. And we have a Heka card. Uh, location is oops, the Sanctuary of Anubis. Excellent. And let's get some of these awesome models. All right, we have three of these mummies. that They're carrying their sarcophagus on their back, which is pretty wild. We have this guy. That might be Anubis. I'm not I'm not as up on the different Egyptian mythology, but since they mentioned it, might, that might be Anubis. We also have the Sphinx, which looks really cool. Oh my gosh. Just amazing. And let's look at our player characters. This gentleman here. Very cool. And then this is Saba from the cover. So there we go. All right, folks. So that is everything in the Black Rose Wars Rebirth Core Box and Stretch Goal set. 
That was a lot of stuff and a lot of really amazing looking stuff. If this game plays even half as good as it looks, it's going to be something special. So uh, I can't wait to try it out. Let me know if you've tried this game, uh, either the Rebirth or the original. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, of course. And if any of this, you know, uh, with the knowledge of the game looks interesting to you, like tell me what character you think looks the most awesome to play because, um, gosh... I don't know. I think I think they're all. I kind of want to play Hogwarts because he's a little pig, and that's a little ridiculous to me, but it's funny. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. Otherwise, look forward to see you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like it, share it, and click this button to subscribe. Uh, if you like that one, you might also like this one. Or this one. I cannot believe what I did in that one. <laughs> Holy cow. I can. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, we'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.